Hello everyone, I'm Frank on the Gold Coast in Australia. I find a place with a couple of uh, Volkswagen type trees and uh, a couple of beetles really uh, in uh, sad condition but they are uh, for sale because it's a record's place and uh, I thought I'd call in have a look if, it, if they were saving as you know I'm into Volkswagens and uh, that's why I'm chasing uh, all the time chasing Volkswagens uh, it's a rotten uh, floor D the battery try and uh, seats aren't bad just uh, needs cleaning glove box department's good it's an automatic which I don't really like I love uh, manual autos give you a lot of trouble and cost too much to fix it's even got the key inside the seats are really good yeah. I like them I just explaining yeah 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 good good so this one has this one got the engine uh, I'm not sure on this one I just know about that one okay wouldn't mind to find out it's probably got a handle um, at the uh, driver's side or maybe this side should have a uh, latch somewhere Maybe the other side. Don't know. So it's pretty uh, rusted, but uh, that can be easily fixed to uh, change the uh, bonnet. And it takes probably a lot of work to uh, fix the rust over there. Find it? Oh, is there a button here, mate? Yeah, that must be it. So, this is in really, really poor condition. Yeah, the engine's here. Yeah. So, that's the uh, 1600 and also automatic, like the other one. Mm. I just saw the badge there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's a uh, dual carb version not the uh, fuel injected which is good I heard that the fuel injected ones uh, problematic mm -hmm. at times so I'm just saying yeah, yeah, yeah. 1600 engine probably about 50 horsepower would you know yeah 50 around 50 very good going downhill with a strong breeze that's right <laughs> behind you yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it looks complete, mm. and you haven't heard this running. No, no. Right. I've only been here a couple of months, but right, uh, right, right. There is a fair bit of interest in these because of their age. Fair enough. Yeah, that's front, why I like stopped. You, they go, yeah. Oh, they pull that's over. That's it. That's it. Can we have a look at the other one then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the good thing is that 95% uh, complete. Ah, yeah. What a good design, these uh, flat uh, engines. Oh, yeah. So they you can't take up hardly any space. you a lot yeah. of space for yeah. uh, luggage, and you can even sleep in these things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's also complete, also dual carb, also automatic. It would be good to buy the pair. And, uh, yeah, Imagine go from them there. side by side. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Or just make one good one out of the two, yeah. or I don't know. Oil. That's where you check the oil, yeah. the engine oil. Yeah, unbelievable. Isn't it? I used to have one of these in the 60s, late 60s, but since then never had one. Mm. So anyway, can I walk around to have a look at the rest? Yeah. Oh, it's got an extra steering wheel. Um, nah, it's something else. Yeah, something else. <laughs> it doesn't have the spline on yeah. it. So. Now, rust wise, this one looks better. It's got a bit of a dent here. Yeah, there's a, yeah. Two, two extra panels to come with. I'm not sure which panels it is. Okay. I just know there's two. I'll just have a look inside again. 
Okay, this one, I noticed that one had the keys. No keys with this uh, one, do you yeah, know? Yeah, we'll have the keys somewhere, yeah. Yeah, so you have them, yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is the variant. Station wagon, or in Europe it's called variant. And probably in the States as well. Now, it's a little bit poorer inside than the other one. But looks better on the outside. And... Uh, the mileage 83,025 probably although went around a couple of times at least and uh, auto shift three speed was this one opening at the front do you know uh, yeah. yeah you did open it yeah that's the uh, fuel filler flap now that's important this area to be dry and yep. rust free. I'm just explaining again. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, tank and the corners look good. I like them. No rust there. Yeah. Obviously had a respray or maybe two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but looks like this was the original color. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. Green. Yeah. Green. Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missing the spare wheel though. Mm. Okay, let's have a look at the other side then. And even the uh, bonnet rust free, not unlike the other one. Yeah. Glass in good condition. And this side is uh, straight up until the quarter panel at the back. And just to show the rust uh, on the bottom here. Yeah, it is rusty down there. That's unfortunate. And big job. Yeah, even this panel came away, but the man said comes with spare panels. This side opens up okay. Door card is uh, shot. Oh, I even got the uh, little mirror there. Yeah. How there's, about there's that? There's glass in here, the glass. Yep, it's yep, just yep. The, the, the track's just not connected. Yeah, excellent. And you said the uh, gear shift works, it's not yeah, stuck yeah. in a, any gear. You move it around. Moved around, yep. Other. I'll push the five out so we just push this around. Uh huh. Okay, so it says the uh, Volkswagen automatic. Tail lights missing. And uh, bumper bars not there. I can see a rusty muffler. So this car needs a lot of, lot of work, unfortunately. So I don't know if I can strike a deal for this one or maybe both color matching pair both 1600 both automatic so a bit of a potential there but a lot of work and money so um, so that was the pair of the uh, Volkswagen Type 3 variant and fastback thank you for watching if uh, you liked this video please uh, press the like button and if you want to see more of these press the subscribe as well thank you bye